Hello everyone, today I will be sharing taro leaves bharta. Now this is a very common dish in Bengali cuisine. This is extremely tasty and very healthy as well. This is rich in fiber and other important nutrients. Now these are taro leaves. Now they look exactly like lotus leaves as you can see. These are very huge in size. I have already washed them. There are quite a few of them as you can see and I have to wash them properly as any other leaf because leaf, leaves contain a lot of dust and soil. So this needs to be uh, washed properly and then I have kept them in the strainer and then I need to chop and cut them. Now these need to be cut extremely finely. Now as you can see I have arranged the leaves, I am going to take few leaves, all the leaves cannot be cut properly. Now I mean I am going to arrange the leaves and then I am going to roll them and cut them finely. So this is the way it needs to be cut and it will take a little time because there are quite a few leaves which need to be chopped. So I am cutting the leaves in this way. Now I am in another wok I have taken 2 spoons of mustard oil and normally cook in mustard oil and I will be putting a little bit of half spoon of nigel seeds along with this will go 2 dried red chilies. Let these get fried so that the aroma and the flavor comes out and then I am going to add the chopped onion which I have already chopped it before. Now onion will take some time to get fried as we all know. Now this let this get fried for some time and then I am going to add chopped garlic as well. As you can see I am still frying the onion and uh, I can put salt also but I did not put the salt uh, because salt will uh, increase the you know will help in uh, caramelizing the onion but I have not done that. So now I have added the chopped garlic and this also needs to be fried till it turns golden brown. Now as you can see it, it has turned golden brown. I am going to take 80% of this fried onion and garlic and also the red chili out. And I'll put put a little and I'll keep a little bit in the wok. As you can see, I have taken out almost all. A little bit is left. That is fine. And then I'm going to add. I have added a little bit of oil, another one spoon, and then I'm going to add these chopped taro leaves. This will be huge in quantity. Don't worry. They will shrink in size as any other green leaf. I have added salt and. Uh, uh, turmeric according to taste and I have also put a little bit of two green chilies chopped. Now I am going to cover this with a lid. I have also added a little bit of water although the leaves contain water but still I added a little bit of water because these leaves need to be cooked properly. I have covered it and so it has shrunk in size. Now it will release a lot of water also because I have to constantly uh, you know stir it and cover it and cook it. It will release a lot of water and then this taro leaves will get cooked in this water itself. It has got lot of moisture in it and I have also added a little bit of water. It is still not done, 70% it still needs to be done. I am going to again cover this with the lid and then for, for another 2-3 minutes and you will see a lot of water is released. See lot of water has been released, now this water needs to be soaked. I am not going to throw this water because this has got lot of nutrients in it. And this water and the taro leaves will get cooked together. It will become absolutely mushy in nature. This is extremely tasty and it can be had with steamed rice. See this is the way all the water got absorbed and see taro leaves have become extremely soft and they, get, they got mushy. Now, this is the way the bharta needs to be done. I have also added the fried onion, garlic and uh, red chilli. Red chilli of course I have crushed it with the hand and then I have added it. Nothing needs to be given. At last I am going to put a little bit of half lemon juice. Otherwise uh, these taro leaves they cause itching. So to put this uh, lemon juice because this is a must and then I have to constantly stir it like this till it gets absolutely dry. So this is a final look. So if you like the recipe do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.